Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we're continuing a throwback to The Sims 2. Ash is currently sleeping. She is very pregnant. I actually don't know how pregnant she is because I'm not even sure how to tell. Um, I believe that she did get a little bigger from the last time that we played, but I don't think that she's going to be like popping anytime soon. I think that she might have another day potentially. But what I actually wanted to do today was go ahead and decorate the baby room. So we actually have this room over here that I wasn't originally sure what I wanted to do with it. I had a lot of different options and uh, maybe I was thinking like an office or something. But now that we're having a baby, I think that that should be definitely what we do with it. So let's... Oh my gosh, this stuff is so cute. I miss this so much. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, and all the different colors. We don't know if we're having a boy or girl or not, but honestly, ooh, I don't like that camo. Honestly, the colors just don't matter to me. I think that we will just go with whatever crib, whatever color of crib that we want to go with, whatever color scheme that we want the room to be. It does not really matter to me. I think that we should just go all out, completely random. We won't really go with a specific color scheme. We will just pick colors you know so I don't know which bed that I want is there a difference in comfort no it appears as though it's just about the way that it looks and even though this one looks kind of cheap it's really cute I really like it this one's cute too maybe I'll go with that one it is really cute do they have like a white one yeah oh my gosh this is adorable oh that is so cute i want this one i have nowhere idea anywhere to put any of this stuff in here i don't I actually think i want to change the color of the walls as well so let's see um i think that maybe we'll just go with like a, a painted color <gasps> that's so cute oh my gosh that's cuter look at that i really wish that they would allow us to have cribs like why why can't we have cribs like, I know that the babies are supposed to be objects or whatever, but they're stuck to a bassinet. Why can't they just be stuck to a crib? Like, what? How? how is that any different? You can just, instead of a bassinet appearing, a crib could appear. Or you could somehow move the baby when you pick it up to the crib. I don't get why you can't do that. It makes me so mad. So let's actually get back into this stuff and see what else that we have in here i don't know what else that i want to put in here actually well this matches oh my gosh it's so cute oh my gosh it's so pink and white um let's throw in some other colors though how about oh my gosh that's adorable i love the cute little bear i'm gonna get that one and we're gonna put this bear over here as well i don't think i wish you could put it in the crib but i guess you can't so i'm gonna put it over there got all kinds of things to choose from I do I don't even know oh my gosh look at this it's a little spaceship thing that is so cute I don't know where to put it maybe do we have a different color oh yeah this one's cute let's put it like over the baby thing as if it's like I don't think it's a light I'm pretty sure it's not uh, but it looks kind of like it's a um, mobile or mobile however you want to call that uh, look at these little dinosaurs Also, I'm sorry if you can hear that I have no idea if you actually can or not But there is currently a train outside so that's fun. Oh, well, let's actually get a different color of this though. Let's try the blue I Actually don't know what that is. I think the black and white one was supposed to be a panda, but this one kind of looks Like a bear. I don't know what that is. I can't tell let's put it there. It's frustrating me that you can't like you know they have to be facing e east west south north instead of just like I can't think of what word I'm trying to think of but you know you can't turn it in certain ways let's get one of these that looks really fun I don't know yeah I'm pretty sure that whenever they become a toddler they can play with that so we're gonna leave that there for now I really wanted to kind of there we go turn it that way and maybe get them a few toys to put around the room hopefully nothing is in the way of anything get them a little house and I guess that whenever they get old enough we'll just turn this baby room into I hate when it turns itself like that we'll turn this baby room into their room 
just a regular kid's room. I think this is for toddlers. Oh, can only use be, be used by children. Okay. Look at these balloons. How cute. Let's leave the balloons in there. The balloons are really cute too. I don't know about this potty training thing. I don't know where. Let's actually, I guess we'll put it in the bathroom. We probably won't even potty train them in the bathroom because it's kind of frustrating. But maybe we'll just put that there too. This is so cute. It feels so dark in here though. I don't know if, if it's just because it's night out. But I feel like these lights should be so much brighter, but they're really not. Um, maybe we can... <gasps> That's so cute! Oh my gosh, let's trade out this light for that one. It's so cool. Although it makes the lighting in here really weird. It really does. It makes me feel like my kid's about to be abducted. Uh, maybe we should put some more lights in here, just like around the room. Like that. Does that look? I mean, it doesn't look great, but at least it's brighter in there, so that's cute. I don't know what else that we have that we can put up on the walls, but I'm gonna find something. Because the walls are a little bit naky. So, ooh, <gasps> that is so cute. Oh, we can pretend like his or her grandmother knitted that for them. Oh, that's so adorable. What are these? Oh, little flowers. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh, it's making my heart hurt. I love it so much. Alright, I... I don't know what else we can get for this room. I'm not sure that there really is anything else. We could get curtains, I guess. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. We can just leave the windows like they are. I kind of like them being open. I mean, they're on the second floor. Nobody's looking in anyways. So let's go ahead and let's continue to let her sleep. And whenever she wakes up, we're going to see how big she's gotten. Whoa. <gasps> Look, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that belly. <gasps> she changed her underwear. <laughs> I mean, the underwear that she had on before looked exactly the same. It was just a different color. All right, let's let her use the bathroom. <gasps> Look at that little waddle. She's so pregnant. I'm so excited. I wish there was some way that we could find out if it's a boy or girl now, because I just want to know. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, can she? She doesn't really need a bath or anything, so I guess we're going to come downstairs. And does the maid come today? I think she should. Uh, I'm not gonna, no, don't worry about the bugs or anything. Actually, yes, you know, it's really early. I don't think there's gonna be an exterminator that'll come at this time. So let's just go downstairs. No, stop worrying about the bugs. It's okay, the maid will get it or we'll call an exterminator whenever it's a decent time to do so, which might be now. It seems like the sun pretty much comes up at seven. Also, I don't know why my game is a little bit laggy. I've not done anything to it. Don't clean up, what are you doing? I've not done anything to it since I last played, and I don't have anything on my computer right now, but it is a little bit laggy. She is so pretty and pregnant. I'm so excited. I don't know. I hope she has the baby soon. Let's call a service as soon as she's done eating, and we'll have them come out here and I guess get rid of any of the bugs that she has. I don't see the bugs anywhere. But she apparently does, so we'll let her do that. Oh, they're out there. Ooh, they're there too. Ooh, creepy. All right, let's recycle these. I don't think... We actually do have some mail. I didn't think that we had any mail. A exterminator, please. Yes, sir. That would be fine. Who is she talking to? Is she talking to herself? All right, get rid of those. And check your mail, please. I wish we could cancel the paper. Can we? No. It doesn't look like it. Please stop. Why, why does she always bring the, the bills inside? I just want her to pay them now. Stop. Stop. Just pay the bills now. Thank you. So I guess I just have to cancel that interaction and just she'll just put it down and then do it. Hello, sir. We have a lot of bugs. Do you just walk past the majority of them? Where are you going? Is there bugs in the house? No. No. Stop stomping on the books. You just hired somebody to do that for you. Let's recycle this paper too. I don't... <gasps> she has the flu again? But she's pregnant. 
This is the second time she's had the flu while she's pregnant. Is that okay? Like, I don't understand. Does the game just think that she's she's got the flu because it doesn't know she's pregnant? Oh, I think he's thinking about woohoo. Alright, let's have her come up here and use the bathroom because she's really got to go. And we're going to let her take a shower because she is probably, I mean, she's not really stinky. But maybe she'd be more comfortable taking a shower. The maid just got here. I don't know why I have to be notified whenever the maid gets here. Oh, she's crying about the bugs. She hates the bugs. Alright, the maid is... Oh, she's scrubbing the counter. Cool. It looks like I might have actually cleaned up some of the plates because the house actually isn't as dirty as it was before. Um, I really want to hang out with this maid, though. <laughs> I think that she would make a good best friend. Let's talk to her, chat with her, I suppose. Come on, you're done in the shower. You've been in there forever. Come downstairs, talk to the maid. She's obviously going to be cool. Her name is Ashley. All Ashleys are super cool. We can just call her Ash, even though it's going to be very confusing. Come on, where are you? Yeah, there you go, there you go. What? No! <laughs> You're not supposed to go upstairs while I'm trying to talk to you. I came downstairs to talk. Oh my gosh. Making the pregnant lady reclimb the stairs. Ugh. What's wrong with your hands? <laughs> Alright, let's chat with her. And let's. Let's. Suggestion? I don't know. I think that's just some sort of flirting. So let's be a little suggestive towards her. Can we lock the doors? <gasps> we can lock the doors. I wasn't sure that that was a thing in The Sims 2. Look at how cute this little baby room is. Uh, I love it so much. And this quilt is just so cute. I can't stand how cute it is. Um, I don't think we're getting along. Wait, she's our crush? For real? I think I missed that. We just want to make out with her. <laughs> I mean, that's what she wants. She wants to make out with people. Let's... I don't actually think that I've even checked on our aspiration reward stuff. <gasps> we have some. Hold on. Okay. Well, let's do this stuff. That way our needs aren't so bad. What is this? No matter how career-oriented a sim may be, vacation days keep the morale up. Okay? If there's one thing you know how to do, it's strike up a conversation with a hot stranger. That's going to come in handy. But I want to work on this first. So let's do those first. That way all of our needs will decay so much slower. Then we're going to move on to this. What is this? Slower, need decay, hygiene, and energy. Hygiene, bladder, and hygiene. Okay. Yay! Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. We've got a lot of those rewards now. Those extra things. All right. We are apparently going to become very attractive to her now. She's going to love us and she's going to accept all of our flirts. Oh, she did. Should she like us? I can't tell with her reaction. She's sick. Oh my gosh, she scares me when she does that. Can we just... Does it count as kind of... Like, resting if she's laying in bed, just relaxing, or no? Because it did say that we were supposed to... Oh, she got really close to her. Oh my. Hold on. Let's not relax for a second. Oh, she's still thinking about bugs. Please don't put the toys away. What are you doing? <gasps> the balloons popped! I didn't know that was a thing! My poor balloons! Alright, let's keep flirting with her. And maybe we can get her to come in here with us, you think? Maybe we can invite her over here? I don't think she can actually get to those balloons. So let's stop coughing our lungs up for a second. And let's relax in bed. And then we're going to invite her to come up here with us. As long as she's not leaving. She's not leaving, right? Stop. Pause for a second. Pause, pause, pause. Hold on. Can we ask her to join us? I'm not sure that we can. Talk. Tip. Influence to... Bathe? <laughs> Influence to bathe. Um, I don't think that we can actually ask her. That sucks. I think it's because she's here as a maid. So, like, I can't pay her for that service. <laughs> I'm paying her for the time that she's here. And that would be illegal to pay her to hang out in my bedroom with me. So, let's come in here and use the bathroom. She's a little bit hungry. I'm very curious as to how well... Her needs are going to do with this new trait thing. 
So I, I definitely want to get all of them up just to see how slowly they decay. I feel like they'll probably still go somewhat fast, just slightly slower maybe. So we're going to let her eat really quick. And I'm very curious as to, she looks really pregnant. I can't tell if it's like a second trimester or third trimester pregnancy. So I guess, oh, hello. Uh, all set, everything's clean. See you tomorrow, thank you. Oh, she's coming on a Saturday? I didn't know if she would show up on the weekend or not. Hello, Robert. Um, I'm really, I don't know. I think that maybe in the end she's gonna end up with Robert just because she's having a kid with him and maybe she's gonna like, you know, she got pregnant, she didn't expect to get pregnant or whatever, and maybe she's going to kind of sleep around with other people and get that kind of out of her system. And then whenever she's done with that, she's going to realize how much Robert means to her and how much it means to her for him to be here with her and her child. So I think that she's just going to have a little bit of fun before she realizes that she wants to settle down with him. What is she congratulating him on? What happened? I don't know, what did she congratulate him? Did he get a promotion or something? Appreciate. Apologize. What am I apologizing for? What did I do? I don't know why she's apologizing, but I had the option to apologize, so I apologized. <laughs> I must have done something. Alright, she is about to pee her pants, so I'm going to let her run upstairs really quick so she doesn't pee in front of Robert. Are you not allowed to skinny dip in the pool? Is that why he always wears swim trunks in the pool? Because I feel like if he had the option, he definitely would not have those swim trunks on. He always skinny dips in our jacuzzi. Oh, he does not like marriage either. Maybe he's non-committal. Oh no, that might be a bad thing. I don't know if we would actually be able to get married and stuff. Like if that's something he even wants. Maybe they kind of agree on it. Maybe neither of them want to get married. Maybe neither of them want to settle down. We could still ask him to move in, I suppose. She needs to take a nap or something. Let's just let her go to sleep. I feel like she's probably going to be having this baby soon anyways. And she, she's so tired. Somebody's standing outside and it's creeping me out that I can see them through my window. Is Robert still here? I don't know if Robert left. I don't see him anywhere so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and I guess just let her sleep and I will resume whenever she wakes up oh my gosh if I would have just not paused it oh my gosh do you see how creepy this looks how creepy does that look I have no idea she just jumped out of bed and grabbed her stomach I guess she's in labor guys that's terrifying That is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Why do we not have that in The Sims 4? I am telling you, there are such simple things like that that make the game so much better. So we had a girl. I did not even think of a name. <laughs> um, there is a name that I commonly use because I think it's cute. So we should just probably go with that. And that is Ellie. So let's go with this. I think it's really adorable. So we have a baby. Oh my gosh. Let's put her in her crib. I don't know if she's hungry or I think that she's okay. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh my gosh. How adorable. All right. Let's go back to sleep. I think the baby is okay for now. She only slept for like three hours before she like went into labor. So... Uh, hopefully the baby will be okay and be able to sleep a little bit through the night. Uh, I probably should have fed her before going to bed, but she's really, really tired, so. So far, she's sleeping really well. I actually don't think she's sleeping. She's just laying in the crib. So, but we're getting a lot of rest. <laughs> I, I, that's not normal. Okay, baby's screaming. Baby's screaming now. All right, go, go hold her. You gotta change her little diapy. Go change her diapy. Go, go. 
Oh, how cute. I hate that scream, though. Ew. Oh, how useful would that be if that was a real thing? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Can we feed her and stuff now, too? Should we do that? I think that you have to go down to the fridge. Let's see. Uh, feed a bottle to Ellie. Yes. Can we not breastfeed? I don't know if that's a thing or not. It should be. Uh, let's see. Cuddle Ellie. Play with Ellie. Cuddle. Entertain. No. I don't know if you can. I don't believe so. That's kind of weird. I feel like that should definitely be something that you can do. Let's go put her back in her crib. I'm kind of terrified that we're going to lose her. <laughs> um, but I think, oh, he was still here. And I'm apparently healthy again. So that's perfect timing. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I think that it was such a cute little episode. And we've got a cute little baby. I'm so excited. This series is actually going to continue with Ellie. Whenever Ash like becomes an elder and stuff. And uh, Ellie grows up. We're going to continue with her. And we're going to, I guess, follow her off to college and whatnot. And, and let her shape how her life wants to be. And... Oh my gosh, or how she wants her life to be, not how her life wants to be. That makes no sense. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!